Hello everyone, welcome to the Cursing Seamstress. Um, I am sitting in a different area. I'm on the landing of the upstairs. Um, and I'm here because the lighting is pretty good. I've got a window here. And um, today I wanted to do just a mini review of the Plantain Tea by Deer and Doe. It's a free pattern. Plenty of people have made this pattern. It's been around for a long time. I downloaded it quite a while ago and never made it. It is a, um, a t-shirt with uh, four knit fabrics. It's, um, uh, it's has a good size range. I don't remember, um, it's in European sizing, which I don't have memorized, but I made what would be probably um, a 14, uh, size 14, based on my measurements. And um, I had, uh, the fabric that I used was thrifted fabric from the Children's Hospital of the King's Daughters um, thrift store in Suffolk, Virginia. Um, all of their proceeds go to the Children's Hospital in Norfolk. So it's a, a real good cause and I love shopping there. Um, and I like to hit that store at least once a month and see what sort of fabric they have. And they usually do have something. I was reluctant to buy this fabric because it was very thin. It's a paper thin knit and I was worried about sewing with it um, because I've never sewn with a fabric quite this thin, especially a knit this thin. Um, and in laying it out, um, I'll probably I'm going to put some additional information uh, with with text at, uh, to go along with this. Um, but in laying it out, I um, I'm trying to think. I think the main front piece was I think it was meant to be cut on the fold, and what I had to it was, but I was working with a stripe. So what I had to do was to uh, lay it out and then flip the pattern piece over um, and then trace around it. And there were some challenges because the fabric was so thin, but it was very doable. Um, and let's see. Um, anyway, I'll just talk a little bit more about it as I show it to you. Um, so this is this is it. It's on a mannequin, which is much smaller than I am. Uh, so the stripes are pretty good, I think. Um, and even on the sleeves, they are kind of matched up. Uh, I don't think... Everything looks really straight. And I'm trying to think. The back piece, I guess I did the same way. I just folded the the pattern piece over and matched it up to the line that I, you know, I drew a line uh, down the straight edge of the of the pattern piece. Um, I found I practiced on the um, stitch that I used, and I have a faff sewing machine, and on my faff it was a zigzag, and I think it was 1.10, and that stitch just did perfect for for everything um, I don't have a cover stitch so that was not an option but I had no trouble um, just now I'm looking at this right here the one thing that happened to me was I in setting these sleeves in on this sleeve I uh, I sewed the sleeve in first with a long stitch on my sewing machine and then I went to my serger and surged it and when I did that I caught up underneath it I caught up a piece of the sleeve and then I spent a long time picking out that stitching so I could restitch it but in doing that I ended up tearing the sleeve so I thought well I can just sew that 
the sliced area it was toward the top um, and I could have folded it over and sewn it but I thought I'm gonna do it the right way and I had enough fabric so what I did was I cut another sleeve piece and I cut off very close to the seam line I cut off the old sleeve and then put the new sleeve on so this is the a residual piece right here of the old sleeve and it's not hurting anything I've clipped it I could clip it a little bit um, closer but it's not something that anybody would notice uh, when I was wearing it um, I have nothing bad to say about this pattern it's really uh, a cute pattern um, it's described as kind of coming out um, at, in the center kind of um, Open, opening up and it does do that a little bit there are several sleeve choices I think there's a short sleeve there is a um, this is a three-quarter sleeve and there's a long sleeve um, I prefer three-quarter sleeves that's what I'm wearing today as a matter of fact um, I don't like dragging sleeves or anything um, like that on me when I'm especially when I'm working um, the only thing that I might like to be different is how low the um, neckline is um, I did wear it to work when I finished it and it was fine but I think I don't know if I'll wear it back to work again I think if it were just maybe an inch higher this is not representative by the way but um, it's it's still kind of low on me um, but I would come up at least an inch on this and I and I probably for that reason probably wouldn't make this again um, for only that reason I think I have enough other t-shirt patterns that I um, could make that are so similar to this one um, but had the higher neckline so that's really all I have to say. I um, again, surprisingly, this fabric just did great uh, as thin as it is. Um, the neckband went in fine. I just I surprised myself. I've never had trouble with the neckband, um, and I don't really know why, except that I you know follow the instructions as far as finding the centers of um, of the neckline. So that is it. Um, I am on my way to work. Um, I will be heading out the door in about 20 minutes. I have just about finished a top and it's by Style Art, which is just a wonderful pattern company. I don't remember the name of this top that I just did, um, but it, it came out so well. Style Art patterns, I don't know how they do it but the drafting is just wonderful um, so I will go into detail about that um, in the next few days um, it's a pattern that I would recommend um, it's just really cute um, the only thing I have to do is to hem it uh, and it's done um, so I'm real real pleased with that so stay tuned and I hope everybody's doing well oh let me tell you this I got my second dose of the COVID vaccine. The vaccine I got was the Moderna. Um, and so the second dose is supposed to come four weeks after the first. I got mine a little bit early, four days early, which is fine. I looked that up. The health department came out for the first injection to immunize the employees of the community college where I work. And then they uh, had made their plan to come back in four weeks and do it again for the second vaccine um, and I did look it up in uh, four days early is as early as you can give it for the second uh, dose so I was not as anxious about this injection as I was for the first um, but there was quite a difference the second shot and I had heard this um, and it's it's on the CDC um, the second dose hits you a lot harder and it did for me within I got it at one o'clock and I had to sit for 20 minutes and wait just to make sure I didn't have some sort of an immediate reaction 
Um, and within two or three hours after getting home, my arm began to get pretty sore, much sore than it did with the first vaccine. Um, but I felt fine. I went to bed, woke up at one o'clock in the morning, and I wondered why I had woken up because, you know, everything was fine. And then within maybe five minutes of waking up, I started having chills and just a feeling of queasiness, um, but nothing to make me get up and do anything about it. I had plenty of covers on me and I just <clears throat> lay there and listen to, I have clocks in my house that chime, so you know, I just kind of was keeping track of time. And I think that the chills and the nausea really only lasted maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And I was not able to go back to sleep. Um, I'm a person, if I do wake up in the middle of the night, um, I, I have a hard time going back to sleep. And my normal time to get up is four o'clock. So I just lay there and listen to my book on tape on my MP3 player and listen to the clock chime until it was finally four o'clock. And um, I didn't have a lot of a choice because Dixie would start whining. Um, so I got up and um, was able to drink my coffee and um, I was really thirsty and I don't know what that was about, but I drank a bunch of water and some fruit juice and I took a couple of ibuprofen and I took two more to take with me to work. And um, <clears throat> I skipped my exercises that morning, went on to work, felt a little bit crummy at work um, and took my other ibuprofen about four hours after I got there, maybe three hours after I got there. Um, felt crummy for, I actually, I mean, I didn't feel tired. Um, it wasn't enough to make me not do what I needed to do. So I ended up going to the grocery store. I had to ride to the accountant's office. Um, got home and I would say about 4, 4.30, I started to feel fine again. And I went to bed last night, got up and feel absolutely normal. So for anybody out there who is reluctant, this, the side effects I had were really minimal and very tolerable um, and it would not be enough to keep me from getting vaccinated at all. So anyway, um, I'm done, hopefully, and hopefully this won't be a yearly injection that we have to get, but I guess the, the jury's still out on that. But um, I hope everybody's doing well, and um, I will see you very soon. Look for the next video on that style arc top within the next week. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.